everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making face scrubbies. I am loving these. I'm really loving these because the reason is it's a small project and I can show you a lot of basic things for, about crochet. So every time we make something, you have got something that you can use, but you've learned something else. For example, in a previous video, we made one of these and it, you know, we made increases. So you learn how to do increase and it's nice and easy in this thing and you end up with something that you can use. So that's why I thought it was a good project. So this video today is all about changing colors. So we're gonna make a face scrubby and we're going to change the color. So we're doing it in two colors. Now, in a previous video, I think I was a bit dense or I was not awake or something like that um, because I managed to miss, um, you know, misname the colors. <laughs> oh dear, I know, I know. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is a cotton. So for these ones, I'm using cotton. Even though I say pick up the wool or something like that, it is cotton um, because you're going to wet it and you need it to uh, soak up a bit of water or your uh, makeup removal um, solution. So it's King Cole Big Value Recycled Cotton Aran. I like the fact that it's recycled because it's environmentally friendly and it's it's not sort of, you can see there's tiny, tiny little specks of something else in there, which is fine. And I, I love recycling things anyway. So it's 85% cotton, so that's fine for this. And I've used it so and it works, so that's fine. Although I haven't used them to take my makeup off yet because it's just too pretty. I have to make more before I can start doing that. <laughs> okay, so 85% cotton and 15% other fibres and that's obviously that Aran that's in there but I don't mind it's good and it says here wash at 40 and cool on dry so you can uh, wash them in your machine and you can dry them in your dryer so that's fine to um, be able to wash them after you've used them um, so um, like I said I miss um, misnamed all the colours I mean really so this is cream yeah, the white is the, 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 this is the cream. And then the crocus must be this one here. And then here we have sage. And of course, sage is green, isn't it? I mean, I was putting it with this. I mean, how? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then cornflower. Um, like I said in the previous video, uh, these were pointed out to me by the lady in my craft shop, in my craft shop, in my wool shop. Um, and I think they go together really well. And, um... If you look up uh, the shades uh, online, I'm sure you, you'll be able to find them to order them or whatever, uh, or go to your uh, local shop and ask for them. Uh, but yes, King Cole, and I think it's a UK brand, so I'm in the UK, so that's why I like using a UK. Ooh, or cotton in this case. Okay, so this is is uh, the wool that I'm the cotton that I'm using for these projects and here I have made the previous ones obviously and this is the one that we are making today so we are going to get started with the cream I like combining it with the cream so we'll get started on that so let's put these to the side so in this tutorial we are going to concentrate on how to change colors and of course like I said it's a nice little project you can try it out and we have learned to change colors and that's the main thing and then you can you know use it in a bigger project that you are maybe doing so chain four because that's the same as before and you'll have to make us oh why did that not go well of course i didn't have enough yarn okay let's try again so i have three there and let's put the fourth one yep okay and now we're going to make a little circle i'm still learning to crochet by looking in my viewfinder which is quite novel Sometimes I think I'm actually watching a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> okay. I missed one here. See, this yarn splits easily, so just keep an eye out and correct it as you go. And pull through. And then with um, a crochet hook, with an extra crochet hook, I try to find the middle before I actually continue and I wiggle it about and that does help to make sure you have that correct hole um, 
to do your stitches in. And so now we are going to do 12, or we're, sorry, we're going to start with a chain and now we're going to do 12 double crochets into the middle there. If you don't know how to do a double crochet, do look um, at my other video that I have on my stitches for the absolute beginners. Um, I'm starting off with these projects, but hopefully very soon I'll be making more advanced projects. So I'll meet you when you've done your 12 half double crochets. So I'm at the end of my 12... 12 half double crochets and I'm going to insert my hook in the top of that first one pull through and we pull through there so we make it closed we close our circle and I have my um, end here which I will pull and then you can um, weave that in now there is a way of um, weaving it in while you're working and I'll show you that uh, with our next color. So what we need to do now is change colors. So we're going to pull that up, pull this through and pull it really tight. So we finish off this color. Then we are going to cut this off and you pull it through there. So that is the middle of our little face scrubby. Now we are going to add the next color so I'm going to do a crocus one yes that is the color <laughs> and um, what I need to do is generally I try to not start at the same place because you don't want to um, add to that so oh, that's the wrong one in there and I pull through my yarn like this Now, some people just start crocheting here, but I just like to attach my yarn. So I'm going to make a knot. Okay, just knot it. And then I go through and I do, and really that's like a double insurance. So there we are. And you pull this really tight because that then is not your first stitch okay so that's just attaching your color there are other ways of doing it in other situations as well uh, which we will learn eventually but this is just my way of doing it for now okay now how are you going to weave in your ends without weaving them in you're going to crochet along with your ends so this might be a little bit too advanced for you or too fiddly don't worry just leave your ends and do them with um, with a needle but if you just hold your yarn along your work and you make sure that you also go round it when you pick it up then that's the way to do it so you'll see what I mean in a moment so now we're going to do double crochets so we should be able to do that and look I'm putting my needle through and look here I'm not picking that up so I've got to make sure that that piece of yarn is in my stitch pulling through see so it's gone there and pull through two see and it's split again oh dear it's going well isn't it where am I come on there's a little bit that needs can you see it here there's a little bit that needs to go over there so just keep an eye on your that's just the, the nature of this of this this cotton actually doesn't matter there we go okay so we are doing two double crochets in each stitch so we're holding our our ends along as well so you go into the stitch making sure that I've got that end there and the other end isn't there yet so because we sort of insert it in a, a little bit away from that second from where we ended See, and I've done it again. There we go. A double crochet into the next stitch and another one because we have to do the increases. Okay, so now we have this bit here, which we're going to crochet over and this bit here. So we're just keeping that over that stitch and that way, look, it's 
disappearing into our stitches. Look, you yarn over, brush in, see, and you look. So there we go. So we have done three stitches, but we've got six double crochets already done. And I'll see you at the end of the row. I have now come to the end of the row and as you can see on the back here I um, crocheted along with the uh, sage colour so that can be cut off here because it was just too short there and then here I kept on uh, doing this white one uh, along in the stitch and then in the two last ones I forgot but then that's long enough because I think it started somewhere here so it's gone all the way around so really I can cut these off you could do a bit more of sewing in here with this white one as you've got some left uh, so that saved me having to um, you know weave in two and of course this one at the beginning I have weaved it along a little bit um, but I was filming and I don't know exactly how long that was so I am going to do a little bit of weaving in with that one after so now we are going to find the top of that stitch here and we are going to slip stitch okay so that's that and then pull up a little bit and then pull that through again and pull it tight to finish off this color okay so that's how far we got there so we have that end again so we can weave that along when we are doing this one here so let's do the same thing as before pull through your yarn make a knot pull it really tight and I'm leaving quite a long uh, end because it it is easier if your end is a bit longer to actually um, you know take it up and and crochet it in pull through and do that first little chain and pull it really tight so it's it's not the size of a chain of a of a of a stitch really and there we go so that's our first chain and our first stitch and then we are going to go in and do single crochets like we did in all the other scrubbies that we have made i mean you might say oh no i'm fed up with these scrubbies now but like i said i'm just finding there an ideal ideal project to get started with okay so I do apologize <laughs> and I'm a slightly hooked on making them so we have one stitch two and we need to do yeah you know an extra one here and not yarning over because we're doing single crochets honestly there we go so this is how we're going to continue all the way around so single single double and while you're doing it you're holding your yarn along here so that let me show you properly because I think I can show you better now you go underneath the stitch and you go also over these ends see can you see that and that way you're weaving in see you're weaving in the ends and you're making them disappear and you don't have to use a needle to put them get rid of them basically see there you go so excellent way of hiding your ends and I'll see you at the end I have gone all the way around by doing two stitches and then inc an increase so single crochet single crochet and then two single crochets in one stitch I've gone all the way around and I have attached here and now I'm just going to pull this closed and cut it off and all I need to do now is look at this I weaved in the ends along with my stitches all the way to there see all the way from there to there so all I need to do now here is slightly pull just inch you know set millimeters sorry not inches millimeters and there you go look all I have to weave in is the beginning and the end which is great so there we have it so those are some scrubbies in two colors I'm sure you're fed up with making them now but 
<laughs> I have got another plan with them. So bear with me. I'm going to change the stitch in the next one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.